Hey, what's up everybody? Just wanted to make a quick video on one of the more popular topics that I get on a day-to-day -day basis with my nutrition clients, and that is carbohydrates. How many do I need? Uh, what's gonna get stored as fat? What's gonna get used? And it basically all comes down to insulin sensitivity. What is insulin sensitivity? Well, your body uses carbohydrate as its primary source of energy, and it, you, and it stores this energy as muscle and liver glycogen, okay? Your body only has a certain amount of room to store glycogen in your muscles and in your liver. All the excess is going to spill over as fat. Think about it like a sponge. When you soak up a sponge with water uh, and then you pour more water on it, well, it's not going to hold any more water. It's just going to spill over. It's going to fall off. It's completely saturated. It can't use anymore. The same way uh, goes for your muscles. Once you've saturated your body with carbohydrate or muscle glycogen, any excess is just going to get spilled over as fat. So, if this happens for too long, uh, to the point where you know you're hyperglycemic all the time and you're diabetic, you've basically shocked your body with so many excess carbohydrates that has become resistant to insulin. Okay, your body basically said, "Fuck that! I can't use this shit anymore. Just store it as fat." On the other side of the spectrum, there's the type of person who has uh, you would associate them with a fast metabolism, an ectomorph, a hard gainer, um, someone that utilizes carbohydrates very effectively. Okay, now. Most of my clients are in the area right in between or towards the more insulin resistant uh, side of the spectrum. One of the ways you could improve insulin sensitivity is just to, if you're over 24% body fat, you probably just wanna cut your carbs out completely, at least for a couple weeks. Um, if you're anywhere from 12 to 15% body fat, carb cycling uh, could help. And on a day-to-day -day basis, um, another great way to improve your insulin sensitivity is to not take in carbohydrates in the morning. Save your carbohydrates when your body really needs them, and that's uh, post-workout or later in the day. It's called glycation. Once your blood sugar levels go up, once you've eaten carbohydrates, you've basically uh, decreased your insulin sensitivity for the day, so your body's not going to utilize them as effectively, say, if you take carbohydrates post-workout or when your body really needs them. Uh, as far as exercise, weight train. Girls, guys, old, young, fat, skinny, it doesn't matter. Weight train, deplete your muscle glycogen and then saturate it like the sponge. Squeeze the water out, soak up the water. Squeeze it out, soak up the water. If you constantly deplete and then you constantly uh, saturate post-workout with carbs, you're improving the susceptibility of your body to uh, effectively use those carbohydrates. Um, some supplements that can help. Cinnamon. Cinnamon's a great way to improve insulin sensitivity. Uh, things like fenugreek, beneba root, um, taking L-carnitine with uh, omega-3 fatty acids and fish oil. Uh, it's gonna the carnitine is gonna help shovel uh, fatty acids into the mitochondria of the cell, which is gonna help. Um, it's gonna improve the composition of the phospholipid bilayer, which is basically the cell wall composed of fatty acids that regulates what goes in and out of the cell. If it's composed of essential fatty acids like omega-3s, it's gonna be much more optimal than if that phospholipid bilayer was composed of trans fatty acids. So all you, if it fits your macros gurus who think of fat's a fat, protein's a protein, and carb is a carb, no it's not. <laughs> a good fat's a good fat, a bad fat is not a fucking good fat. So get omega-3s in, get essential fatty acids, and stay away from that trans-saturated bullshit that they sell in, in processed food. So uh, those are some helpful tips in improving insulin sensitivity. And remember guys, it's not about burning the fat off your body. It's mostly preventing the fat from getting stored off your body. Every day from the second you wake up to the second you go to sleep, you're burning calories. Trust me, the calories will burn. Now you have to prevent the fat from getting stored. So if you, if you keep storing fat and then you're burning fat and storing fat and burning fat, you're, gonna, you're not gonna get anywhere. You gotta prevent the fat from getting stored, burn fat, burn fat, burn fat. That's the only way you're gonna drop. Um, so, I mean, the most common way is to drop your carbohydrates, guys. For people who don't want a nutrition plan, just drop your carbohydrates or don't take them in the morning. Only use your carbs when your body needs them. It's the best way to lean down. Uh, if you do want help, if you do want specifics, you don't mind counting your calories. If you do really want to see your optimal results in a 12-week uh, span of time, I do set up new, uh, custom nutrition plans. Email me at thelocalfit at gmail.com. I will be happy to work with you. Uh, certified sports nutritionist and weight loss specialist Brian Martinez, the local fit athletes nutrition and we're done